Um, so what, what I've, I think we've done, both in criminal justice and in schools, which I think is great, is we have gotten law enforcement and teachers to be better at recognizing some of these things at an earlier age. I think one of the things, I mean, the number one issue for North Dakota teachers is, school, is teacher safety right now. I mean, that's, that's mm -hmm. as about as heartland and as rural as it gets. So this is not only an urban issue, this is not only an East Coast or a West Coast issue. What I get concerned about is that we ask them to do too much often. I mean, if they're getting too, doing an in-service every six, six months, that does not make them a child psychologist. It does not make them a child social worker. And it actually chases teachers out of the profession. We've, so we've had to get creative. We've explored innovative ways to improve services for students um, through interconnected systems framework and blend school mental health and positive, positive behavioral interventions for schools. I mean, it reduces barriers to learning, identifies needs early, engages in effect and treatment offense, and improves educational life and outcome for students, which it's, uh, and I do have to give a shout out to uh, Jason Hornbacher, who is doing this in the Bismarck Public School System, because I, all the policy in the world doesn't work unless you have really great people advocating this. So, I, I mean, my questions are, are, one of the key tenets of that model is, uh, is a broad network of connectivity for children. Um, Dr. Aure, I suppose, but anybody can answer this. Can you give us any detail on, I mean, how we integrate community and faith-based and just the different group? I mean, every community has different resources available. We just have to look to them. I mean, are there programs and models that have worked in other <laughs> places that everybody should be looking at? So a, a couple of things. One is we're doing this right now in um, Cincinnati, Cleveland, and Detroit to where we're working with some of the cities to look at what programs we already have in place and really helping convene them because oftentimes I think like Mr. Patterson was saying, there's lots of programs out there and, and you need to convene them and link appropriately. So I think that's really a key role for public health with the school system. I think even taking a step back earlier and looking at within schools, it's great to have that response, but really integrating things like social emotional learning, like good behavior game, um, incredible years type programs, that's primary prevention and gives kids coping skills, empathy, conflict management, life skills, so that when these stressors do occur, they're already prepared and that helps with the need for counselors.